Chris Flay says 1954 Tops Hockey, one of the nicest sets ever. And let's let's just take a moment to to first of all like agree with Chris Flay on this because it is to me like 52 Tops Baseball. Ralph, you know about 52 Tops Baseball, right? I mean, everybody knows about 52 Tops Baseball. It's the first set of the first major set of Tops Baseball cards. It's like these are Mona Lisa type quality artwork and and design is beautiful to me the 54 tops hockey set is the right. equivalent to the 52 tops baseball now it has a similar another similar characteristic which is that the 52 tops baseball cards the key cards are the mickey mantle the 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 jackie robinson the willie mays right ah, sure eddie matthews and those guys but let's look at those three guys who everybody seems to collect it, it's none of their rookie cards. The 52 Tops, cool. Man, Maze, and Jackie are not rookie cards, but they are among their most valuables, if not their most valuable cards, especially for Mickey Mantle. Probably Willie Mays as well. For hockey, it's the same story. 54 Parkhurst. Now, they only made cards of, of the American teams. There's no, there's no Montreal Canadiens or Toronto Maple Leafs in that set, but there are some key cards like, and they're all, they seem to all be Detroit Red Wings, right, Ralph? I mean, you've got Gordie Howe, You've got a Terry Sawchuk, you got a Red Kelly and Alex Del Vecchio, all these Hall of Famers, but you know, you don't have Maurice Richard or Doug Harvey or you know, no. any of those guys. But my anyway, my point is that the 54 Tops hockey set is so nice, yet the the Gordie Howe, which if you look at, you know, Joe Orlando, the previous president and CEO of PSA, when he came out with the Mount Rushmore of hockey cards. He put a Gordie Howe on it, but he didn't put the 51 Parkers rookie, which is about, you know, this big compared to the full size, oversized 54 tops card. He used the 54 tops card because it is so gorgeous. It's red, white, and blue. It's got that beautiful white background. And Gordie Howe, you guys just go look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. Go look how beautiful this card is. Uh, Gordie's in a great pose too. Some cards in that set, the players in kind of wonky poses. The 54 tops, Gordie Howe is I'm surprised it's underloved to this day. It should be as prestigious as a 50 top 52 tops, Mickey mantle, you know, hockey related to baseball, Ralph, anything to add? Yeah. The thing that I really like about that set is, is when they, when they embedded the, the autograph into each, each card, the facsimile That's, autograph. The great yeah. So card. that kind of like revolutionized uh, a different way in hockey. Because it was still like how many years later until that actually did happen, right? When they actually put real autographs on cards. Yeah. Many, many years later. Yeah. So here, I'm just going to show a picture of now in Bobby's uh, <laughs> second edition of his book, he does have an image of, of the, so that's the card right down there. Now that's not the Gordie Howe. That is the Terry Sawchuck, but that's the, like that design is just that's nice. It's just this, and even the back is super cool, right? Like compare that to the fifty-one Parkers, which I love. I love it as well. But it's the here's the fifty-one Parkers design. Okay, right, right there, and that is the Gordy Howe card, right? Yeah, that's the fifty-one. So you know, it's really got like black and red only. It's a smaller card. It's got a blank back. So in any event. Um, thanks for raising that question uh, or that comment, Chris. It's bang on uh, as far as I as far as I'm concerned. OK, 